Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. It's Mike here with Mike's Drones and more. And guys, today um, the mail just came in and got some new items in the mail that I wanted to share with you. Uh, finally everything for my newest Tiny Whoop edition has come in. So uh, let's take a look and see what all came in the mail. <clears throat> now of course you guys know I'm going to be building a new Tiny Whoop based on the cockroach frame. So I've actually already installed the um, special sauce motors. These are the ones that I ordered from tinywhoop.com. If you want, I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. So you can go to tinywhoop.com and you can check out all the cool different uh, things that they have. You can see that they are uh, reddish color. And if I remember right, these are like 19,000 kV motors, which are pretty freaking fast, which are really, really nice. That's what that looks like right there. Okay, so the next new thing that I ordered this time I was really impressed with the Beta FPV board, so I went ahead and I ordered a, another one. Now, the last time I ordered the one without the receiver, um, I just I attached my own. But since I'm going to be going with a smaller uh, frame, I wanted to get the integrated. So I ordered the this is the FPV, this is the uh, the long range with the FR Sky receiver um, integrated into it. So that's what it looks like from the top. There's your antenna. And then um, here's the <clears throat> what the bottom looks like. There's where all your motors are. There's your bind button right at the top there. And it does come with the JST 2.0 or the power whoop uh, connector basically. And uh, right on the top here of the flight controller you can definitely see right up there. It's got the arrow pointing which way that the board should sit um, forward. So that's really cool. So I got that in. Now, before I made the video, um, I already actually powered this on, and I already bound it to my Tyrannus QX7, um, and it bound up just perfectly. Had no problems with that, which is very nice. I love my Tyrannus. If you guys are looking to get a radio, spend the money, get something a little bit better. Um, I know the Tyrannus runs about $100, but it's definitely worth it. FR Sky makes some great radios. So if you're looking to get into the hobby, spend a little bit more on your radio. Like a Fly Sky will work like the i6s. They're a little bit less expensive, but they will work. Um, okay, so the next thing that um, I ordered in the mail is I ordered a new all-in-one VTX with a camera. <clears throat> now I did order this from, um, this is from Beta FPV, and this is the cockroach frame I ordered from Get FPV. And then this is the camera I ordered from Craze Pony, and uh, this will definitely be on my um, Amazon influencer account. So if you want to check out that link and also the board as well, and I will try and find something on Amazon to see if they've got the cockroach frame on there or not. I don't know if they do or not. Um, you might have to go to the site directly. But so here's what the all-in-one looks like. It's really super teeny tiny. So I'll kind of hold up the board. So you can see it's it's uh, definitely a lot smaller, and it's got everything right on here. So here's your VTX, and then uh, underneath here, there's your uh, button. So the button controls what channel those little lights will come on once it's all uh, on there, and then I'll be able to switch in between. Um, I'm looking at the instructions here that come with it. So it looks like it's got race band A, E, race band one, race band two and race band, or not race band, and B, so which is cool. So it's 48 channels at 5.8 gigahertz. This is a dipole antenna. Um, I decided to go with this style. Normally, like you guys have seen in the past, I, I like the clover leaves, but I wanted to go with something a little bit more slick, um, just a, something a little bit different. Um, so it's going to be kind of like, we we'll call it like my Franken-Cockroach frame, my Franken-Cockroach uh, tiny whoop. So, um... Yeah, so how this is going to work is, here's the uh, the board, this is going to sit on the board, and then basically the antenna, if I can hold it if I don't drop it, so the antenna is going to come right out that way, so this won't be sticking out the top, but it'll actually be sticking out the back, and then I'm going to get, um, order some, probably a cool canopy from uh, tinywhip.com if I can, in the meantime I might use something else that I already have, um, just to kind of get me by until I've uh, got something ordered. <clears throat> tinywhoop.com, he, um, Jesse Perkins, sells some really cool Tiny Whoop stuff if you're um, getting into the Tiny Whoops at all. 
and they are just a blast, especially in the wintertime here in Colorado. You can't always go outside because the weather is unpredictable, uh, but with a tiny whoop, definitely you can fly year-round inside, indoors, uh, which is really cool, and they're making these things uh, just awesome nowadays. Um, and also what I'm going to be doing is, uh, so once I get this soldered on to my new board, and I get uh, this all put together, um, I'm also going to be um, probably programming this to that new Mockingbird project. So if you don't know what Mockingbird project is, so the original Tiny Whoops were based off the Inductrix um, FPV board. Um, and the Betaflight boards, they come very close to the Inductrix, but they've never really been able to mimic the Inductrix. And so the Inductrix is always typically what they say flies better than the uh, the typical beta flight boards but with this new project Mockingbird it's supposed to um, basically mimic the Inductrix board um, with all the settings and everything like that so um, once I get this all built again um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I am going to turn this into a project Mockingbird whoop and um, we'll see how that exactly works out. <coughs> Apologize. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to let you guys go for now and I'm going to start the build on this. Um, shouldn't take me a little bit long, not too bad at all. Um, I guess battery's charging up right now because I'm actually going to be going to a new multi-GP race tomorrow in Brighton, Colorado. So by the time you guys see this, it'll be next week. The race will already be over and hopefully I'll get some FPV footage for you guys. But, uh, yeah, but anyway, guys, um, so when I'm finished, I'll show you the finished product, and uh, we'll uh, fly it around the house and see how it does. So I'll catch you guys after a little while. All right, guys, <clears throat> so uh, welcome back. So as you can see, I've soldered on my uh, camera, my VTX, and everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, plug some power in here real quick. <clears throat> and we're going to see. So there we go. Got some power to the board, and VTX is powering up, so that's a good thing. All right, so uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, um, get this the motors plugged in and get the board screwed into the frame, and then uh, hopefully get it uh, dialed into uh, Betaflight and get that all set. So you'll see that in the next uh, coming up bit. All right, guys, <clears throat> so I've gotten the board uh, put down. Um, you can see I used the little rubber grommets to put in between the board there and the screw so that's all nice and tight and then uh, underneath here <coughs> I've kind of uh, twisted the wires uh, for the uh, for the motors and this just kind of helps them keep nice and close you don't have to braid yours if you don't want to that's just what I like to do so next step what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to go ahead and take these and plug them into the corresponding plugs underneath just like that <clears throat> and they're uh, nicely labeled so it's really super easy to to uh, to build this which is really nice so I'll uh, get those on there and then I'm gonna put some temporary tape up on the top because I'm not sure where exactly I'm gonna position this VTX I think it's just gonna be right on the top there and then the uh, the camera right up in the front somewhere I think I'm probably just gonna use some hot glue and just glue that camera right on the top there as well. So, um, but anyway, yeah. Once I get to the next part, I will uh, show you guys the next step. All right, guys. So I'm at the next part here. So you can see that I've gotten the VTX. It is on there with a little bit of sticky tape. And here's my camera. And I've decided I'm going to use a leftover canopy. For now, I may change this, but this is the leftover canopy that I used on the uh, the Tiny 7. So I'm going to use this red on top of here with the red motors and then I'm going to be using the red props. So I think I've officially come up with a name. This one's going to be called the Little Red Pepper. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Maybe another name. Maybe El Diablo. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put some uh, hot glue on the canopy, get the camera all situated, and then uh, I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, everybody, thanks for hanging in there for me. So here is the finished product so far. So <clears throat> I uh, hot glued the camera up here in the canopy and screwed the canopy 
on the top there, put on my blades. Here's what it looks like from the bottom. So I can easily get to my port so I can get into beta flight. And then what I like most about this is that this antenna right here kind of sits nice like that and it also comes at the back. See, just like that. So when the battery is hooked up, it'll actually be like, like that. But uh, so this would, when it hits or it falls, it's not going to be so top heavy. And again, this is with the, uh, the cockroach frame. And then also, you can look in there and you can see I can actually get easily if I just, I'll have to bring a small screwdriver with me, but I can easily get in here and I can push my VTX button and then that way I can change my channels and everything like that without having to remove this canopy at all, which is pretty freaking sweet. So what do you guys think? This is the, uh, this is the cockroach frame, the Beta FPV flight controller. Um, this is the Craze Pony all-in-one VTX uh, with the dipole whip antenna out the back. And then these are the special sauce motors from tinywhoop.com. So <clears throat> the, uh, the name here is either going to be the Little Red Pepper or uh, maybe El Diablo, something like that, since it's all red and black. Um, or uh, what I was thinking, too, is uh, since it's a mishmash of a little bit of everything, um, I could name it the, uh, the Frankenroach, the Franken cockroach. Uh, like a Frankenstein kind of all bunch of pieces all mixed together. So yeah, this is the the build, the complete build. Um, didn't take me that long, about two to three hours. Um, it was really super simple to put together. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go into Beta Flight and I'm going to go ahead and set up the switches for my um, radio and get it all bound up and everything like that. And then um, I'll do a second uh, follow-up video uh, with the FPV so I can actually test it and fly it around the house and see how good this new baby um, flies. Uh, I was thinking about putting a couple of uh, Tiny Whoop stickers up front here uh, to help support the uh, the guys over at Tiny Whoop. They're freaking awesome, especially Mr. Jesse Perkins, Mr. Tiny Whoop himself. Um, but yeah, I, I like this thing. It is freaking sweet. I can't wait to uh, get this thing all bound up. And like I said, you can kind of see it's translucent. So I'm gonna put a battery on here real quick for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like when it's uh, when it's lit up. So hold on, there we go. All right, so that's what it looks like when it's lit up. So you can see from underneath, it's got those cool freaking green LEDs just like it's Big Brother, the uh, Beta Flight FPV, um, or not the Beta Flight, the Beta FPV 75. And then you can see right up on the top there, it's got a couple more LEDs and a couple more on the bottom, but I really freaking like the colors on this thing. It is pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, so we'll do a follow up video. Like I said, I'm going to get into beta flight and uh, I'm just going to set it up first, see how it flies, and then um, I might try that uh, Project Mockingbird and see how well that thing goes. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm really super excited to fly this. Um, I spent a little bit more money this time, got some better parts, uh, things like that. So I think it's going to fly much, much better. Um, and everything is protected. The camera is protected better. The uh, the VTX is protected. This is outside the back. So this thing should be pretty freaking aerodynamic. And it fits, as usual, right in my hand. So let me get, um, here's the Beta 75. And then here's the Beta 65, but this is not a Beta FPV 65 frame. This is the Cockroach frame, which is essentially the same frame, just a little bit different. But yeah, you can you can see there's quite a uh, a size difference. So um, really excited. And this one's completely open, where this one is nice and enclosed. So really looking forward to uh, flying this thing again. So um, yeah, that's all I've got for. For right now, guys, I'm, I'm super excited about this. So, guys, if you liked the build of the new, haven't come up with the official name yet, um, why don't I do this? <clears throat> Let's leave it up to the patrons. So, patrons, um, I've got two new patrons that just uh, donated to the channel. Again, you guys are going to be watching this video next week, but patrons, I need your opinions. So, what do you want to see this as? Do you want this to be the little red pepper? Do you want this to be the El Diablo, or shall we call it the Frankenroach, 
or cockroach and frame or franken roach i don't know whatever you want to call it <laughs> so cuz it's the cockroach frame but it's kind of a frankenstein cuz it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that so why don't you guys tell me what you think i'm going to leave it up to the patrons you guys decide what you want this to be named so i'm going to name it in you guys honor since you support the channel so thank you guys for tuning in to this video I'm really um, happy with the build and how it turned out. Um, again, I still have to tune it up in beta flight and fly it, um, but I think it's going to fly freaking phenomenal. So, guys, if you like this build, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me. I would appreciate that. If you like my channel, if you like my reviews, my tips and tricks, hit the subscribe button for me. That really helps out the channel. And if you want, you can hit the bell. It lets you know when we've got new videos. We've got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And every other Sunday, we have our live Q&A. And in between those Sundays, we have the live Q&A for the patrons only. Which brings me to, if you're not a patron and you can support the channel, any amount helps. Um, gets me new items that I can build, review for you guys so you can see what's out there. So uh, thank you again, guys, for all the support, all the comments. Thank you to all of my patrons. I do appreciate that, guys. And uh, thank you so much. So in the meantime, while you're waiting for the next video... Let's keep our drones up in the air, flying high, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out.